this stage of the season, four goals is a bit of an underachievement, isn't it? I think so, for a player of his quality, certainly he's enjoyed better seasons. Well, we've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me is Alan Smith. Hello, yeah, Martin, great to be here. And this is our match today. Stoke City play Liverpool. How will Liverpool do today? Yeah, I think a predictable start for this side, a team that uh, we build as a mid-table one at the start of the season, and uh, fulfilling those expectations at the moment. And the man who is going to referee the game today, Gavin Mansfield. <laughs> referee uh, satisfied, everything's OK, and off we go. Stephen Unzonzi. Walters, he slid in, Whelan. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, the defender read it well though. That's a good pass. Really good stop at a vital time. Jones. That's good work to keep the ball under the challenge. He's put him in here. Offside here, Matty Edrington. Skirtle. And the pass cut out at a truly vital time. We well, could be in. What a hit! I don't think he was trying to pick out anybody. Maybe he would say he put it into a decent area, but there was no one there. Stokes corner. Fantastic goal. Perfect jump. Terrific contact. Wonderful goal. Well, the power on the header just made it impossible for the keeper. And the opposition got caught that footed there. They weren't ready. They weren't in position. As a result, this corner routine worked a treat. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here 1 0. They can bolster their defending here, maybe with a, an extra player or two. Action further up the pitch. He's going to cross it. Really responsible defending and a difficult time for his team. Well executed. Good defending. He goes for goal. And he's sprung away to make that save. Corner now for Liverpool. And possibilities. And here's the shot. Goalkeeper protected by his outfield player then. Well, we've got an injured player now and the referee has called a halt. This is another blow for the team, really, because they're going to have to make a change here because of that injury. Yeah, no doubt in the manager's mind. He got the sub warming up straight away. Substitution now for Liverpool. The referee's going to just drop the ball and they're going to give it back to the other team after that substitution. Wilkinson. Well, we sometimes call him our doctor on the touchline, he has to report on these injuries, it's Jeff Shreve, Jeff. It was a nasty roll of the ankle, he went right over on it, but he has carried on, so I think he's unlikely to come off. And Jeff right up to the minute, as always. <laughs> Defender didn't do his job, and he's got past him easily. And it's rather petered out, this attack, it's a goal kick. Here's Gerard. Neatly done, just lifted the ball there. Now here's a chance to get forward quickly. Oh, all that momentum from the counter-attack has gone. And that's the end of that passage of play. Now Carragher and Johnson. I think Liverpool know they can do better than this. Jose Enrique. They're passing it well here. Well, here they are on the attack again. Keeps it going well. And he lets fly here. And that levels it up. It's a goal. Bit of a gamble, really, to swing his foot at it, but a gamble that really paid off. And so often they end up at the back of the stand, but not that time. Back of the net. Well, that was the equaliser, and it's 1-1. One, one. Andy Wilkinson. Wheeler.
Gürtel. Oh, he's in quickly there, crisply too. Looking to slide the ball away. Brilliant opening. Got a chance. And it's a headed effort at goal. And it's in. The header. Great goal. Good power on the cross. And he steered it in with a deft flick of the neck muscles. Well, he made it really difficult for the defenders the way he timed his run from the back there. And they just couldn't contain him. Oh, what a thump. Eyes on the ball all the way. And the connection was absolutely perfect. Alan. Luis Suarez. We really wanted to have a good look at Liverpool today, knowing that they've got the potential in their team to really be successful this season. At the moment, none of that potential is coming to the surface. Half time approaching, and they're trailing still. Kenwin Jones now. I do think this team are clever when they do attack. Just like this, they're playing well. well that is half-time, and we've reached it at 2-1. Well, it's very close, this game. Great one to watch, and the possession pretty even as well, Alan. It is. It's uh, difficult to, to call a winner at this stage. The game is there to be won. second half is off and underway. To Allen. Getting back in organised fashion. And Gavin Munchfield is just going to have to intervene here. Trying to get it off. There's the goal to level the scores. And he's put away his second. He's doubled up. And it's a delightful double, too. And it all there. Accuracy, power, bit of swerve on the ball. Almost impossible for the keeper. Well, at the moment, it's level again after that goal. But who knows what's going to happen now? Good judgment by the goalkeeper to come out and make that save. In possession now, the ball again for Stoke City. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Liverpool will get the throw. Well, now we are going to have a substitution. And at this stage of the game, it's still level. This is what the manager will hope will be the decisive moment. Defenders need to be on there. And it leads to this shot. No! Oh, it's a goal and they're in front. It's a goal and it's a superb one. Well, how many players have they got capable of scoring? Too many for the opposition. Well, it's turning out to be a thrilling contest. 3-2 the score. Whelan. In he goes, sliding in. home team about to make a change and they've got the ball back and they want to use it and get forward quickly nicely done between the two of them just stopped well the attack looked really dangerous but the interception was perfect for his team here comes the cross that will be Liverpool's throw in. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. Here he is with a chance. There was real danger there until the defender stepped in. Sliding in now. Kitely. Whitehead. Now they're widening the scope of their attack here needed to hold on to the ball to wait for the others to arrive in the middle it's a corner kick for Stoke City they have the chance to draw level the officials are encouraged to do what you've just seen different advantages there to be played play it but if there's punishment to be dished out wait until the next stop is you play dish it out yeah and, he, and he's done exactly that he's, he's had his eyes on the foul and he's also had his eye on how the move was developing so so well done ref well, the 
there's going to be an alteration now and with the team trailing you can understand why he's going to make it well, Stoke with all their height and their power this is a real chance for them to get back on level terms from the corner he hasn't dealt with the danger totally great hands Whitehead good ball that's a shame for him well, it's hard to get into that position, but crossed it straight at the goalkeeper. I'm not quite sure about this injury, but a man who might be able to update us on it down on the touchline, Jeff Shreves. Yeah, keep an eye on him, because in that last challenge, he took a heavy blow to his upper thigh. He's feeling it at the moment, but no sign of him after being taken off. Well, thanks for that news, Jeff. That's a hopeful shot. And it's going to be a goal kick. Now his fourth booking this season. Again, yeah, he's not a terrible man for him. He, he won't be overly concerned with it. Gerard. Counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Throw in for Liverpool. Skirtle. So, tries his luck. This corner, absolutely crucial. As they look for an equaliser, it might be the last good chance they get. Well, there's still time for Liverpool to perhaps ruin all their good work of the second half, but... It doesn't look likely, it must be said. Much, much improved since the interval. And this could be the counter-attack that could change the closing. That's been judged by the officials as offside. Looked clear enough. Glenn Johnson. Makes the challenge here. Sure cross. Now Crouch. He's an ungainly striker at times, Peter Crouch, but he's shown he can exist in top company. What an opportunity to break away. It could be a significant ending to the game. There was a lot of speed and sharpness in that counter-attack, but it wasn't quite enough. They've linked up well. Oh, it's a shame. Now we look at the referee and he has blown the final whistle.